If you're considering buying the Indigo Disc for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet but are unsure on what to expect in the game, here is a complete spoiler-free preview for you and some explanation as to some of the storylines so you can consider buying it even more. Battle styles in the Indigo Disc are completely different. Double battles are the primary battle style in this area and the trainers are actually quite difficult to come up against. Once you battle the trainers around the map a little bit and get used to double battling, you can take on the Elite Four and the four members are quite difficult. They use a lot of strategy and a lot of interesting Pokemon on their teams and I found it quite difficult to beat them using level 80 Pokemon that I caught around the Terrarium area. The champion himself, I'm not going to reveal who exactly that is, but that battle was a massive, massive difficulty for me. I beat the Indigo Disc on my Pokemon Scarlet game and also streaming Pokemon Violet at the moment and trying to complete that in a different way. And I was shocked at the level of battling that's required to actually take this on. I know a lot of people are using level 100s just to finish the game, but if you want a challenge, just use level 80s. I'm having the most fun exploring the Terrarium area. The area is huge and there's Pokemon from every generation just hanging about. I'm not going to name the Pokemon exactly, but you can go and find them yourself. The areas around the terrarium, there's four different uh, biome areas and they're absolutely insane to explore. There's lots of little caves, there's lots of hidden gems and there's a bunch of cool things you can find. I will say, however, I have found a little bit of stuttering and a little bit of performance lag here and there around the polar biome and around the coastal biome. The other two biomes have been fine so far but I have been struggling in those areas a little bit, but I try to avoid the areas that I come across the lag from, but you can find a bunch of cool Pokemon, a bunch of old Pokemon, and just a bunch of trainers around these areas without venturing into the laggy areas. The one thing I will say is there's a lot to do in this DLC. There's a lot of new side quests and missions you can go on apart from the main storyline, which earn you battle points, which you can spend in stores and do other cool things. There's a lot of little quests that you can do. There's a new feature, which I was completely unaware of that I found in my recent stream. And I enjoy using this mechanic quite a bit, which you guys will find out if you purchase the game. I'm expecting this to be a feature that's used in a lot of games moving forward. It seems to be maybe an experimental mechanic, but it actually ran quite quite smoothly during the gameplay that I've played so far. The most annoying part of the DLC so far is the price tag. Paying that much for an extension to a game was a little bit annoying, but once you pay for the game and you start playing it, you can get lost for hours. It's definitely worth jumping into. I was a bit hesitant on buying both copies, but once I started playing on the one game, I just wanted to buy it on the other and stream it because I'm trying to complete a full playthrough of the game on the YouTube channel that you're watching on right now. So if you guys want to stay tuned for some of those streams, I'm going to be doing a lot of shiny hunts coming up. Be sure to subscribe, like, and let me know down below in the comments what your favorite Pokemon is. So there you have it. There is a mostly spoiler-free preview or an explanation of the Pokemon Indigo Disc DLC for you. If you guys are still unsure, drop a comment down below and I can answer some questions for you. But I do recommend getting the Indigo Disc DLC. The game has been a lot of fun and it's a lot more challenging than any Pokemon game we've had in a long time. I would say since battling Cynthia and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, uh, that was the last real challenge I had in a game like this, but hopefully you guys can get into the game soon and let me know if you guys enjoy, but have a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys on the next video.